Hi guys, hope everybody is doing uh, wonderful as usual. This is the video number two of my mate's um, workshop or whatever, um, warehouse tool haul. Um, so this isn't all the items. There, are, I'm going to probably paste in at the end of this another load um, to show you. Or oh, I, I don't think I'll make another video. No, I'll, I'll, I'll squeeze it in. Um, so basically, um, the those who want the snap-on for the clickbait it's just this little screwdriver which is um a little snap-on old screwdriver so people seem to click on it more when it says snap-on for some reason right so i got some hammers and um, these are super cool um little little super cool little little pin hammers whatever this one's quite a nice one um nice little bit of beach handle i think uh, lovely um, one of the stars of it was this little brass hammer. I love brass hammers. They just, I just love them. Um, lovely little brass hammer. Not been used much. Light usage. Just a few little dings, but ugh, brass hammers. Now this, I remember watching a video from one of my favourite channels, John Fix, and he had a wooden hammer which he bought. I'm sure it was. Was it a wooden hammer or a wooden pair of pliers? Yeah, maybe it was a wooden pair of pliers, I can't remember. But he had a tool that was made out of wood and it fascinated me. And this is like, it weighs absolutely nothing. <laughs> and it's a wooden hammer, but it's just, I've never seen a wooden hammer. What's this dainty before? Normally like big mallets. But this is kind of like a unique wooden tool. I really like it. It's got, I don't know what, I suppose you could get quite a lot of speed and quite a lot of, you know, but it's just, I don't know. Have you ever seen anything like it before? It's its kind of cool. It's got, looks to be like a hardwood uh, top on it. And then I don't know if it's homemade. I don't know if it's an actual product, but it weighs literally, literally nothing at all. It's absolutely, but it's beautiful. I absolutely love it. This is one of the highlights for me. When I saw that, I went, ooh. Uh, now we've got this tool and it says USAG extra vanadium. USAG and I just wonder what that means. It's a number one two seven USAG. If anybody knows anything about this, is this made in the USA or is this just the brand name? And which country is it from? If it's not, it's kind of well made. It's got nice handles on it. It could be could be Russian, could be anything. I'm not sure, but it's it's yeah. It feels pretty stout, so it's obviously reasonably well made, nicely chromed. So I scoop that. And these are like two Bernard pliers, but one of them is a sergeant made um, in the USA, a sergeant, very small. How long, how big are these? Um, sort of a four and a half inch, very cool. And the other one looks to be more like a needle nose, so you can see the difference, like a needle nose. And this is made in England. So kind of cool, really, almost identical. In the manufacturer, I think that's had a replacement on it. They usually do. Well, that's got a screw on that, so maybe it's just the wrong way around. I don't know, but um, that's kind of cool. Um, nice little set. So two little pliers, one made in the UK, one made in England, four and a half inches. And I've never seen a needle nose. If you guys, I've never seen a needle nose before. Really cool. So that was good. I got this little uh, machinery square. Well, it looks like it's got some serious bluing on it. That is bluing, isn't it? So um, doesn't just think it's just got an initial. It doesn't look anything special, but you know it was cute, so I picked it up. Obviously, I've covered the little snap-on, um, snap-on little screwdriver. Bit of fun. Now this is very cool, um, and it's I really really like this. Obviously, you can adjust. It's got a flat on the top of the bar, and then obviously then you've got micro adjustments um, with this. So you can adjust it, you know, back and forth on the back. But I just thought it was absolutely fabulous. Made out of solid brass, beautifully engineered and beautifully made. So I do love that. That's going to go in the brass tools, I think, in the brass drawer. But yeah, very happy with that little that little woodworking jobby. I've got a very old early King Dick. You see it's got the uh, bulldog on it. Um, so I decided to pick that up because, and it looks reasonably straight, the jaws. And it's going down reasonably well. Um, so, yeah. And it's an Abingdon as well. So I thought that was quite a nice example. I shouldn't really be picking them up, but I can't help myself. We've got another here. We've got another woodworking tool. Um, a, um, a marking gauge. 
Um, but yeah, I thought that was kind of cute. Um, doesn't seem to have any manufacturers on it. But it's a nice little thing though, and definitely deserves a home. So I'll put that in the marking drawer with the mar with the um, with the others. They've got a little punch. Doesn't seem to be marked, but it's a nice little punch. I keep seeing these little. I think this is like a little jeweler's hammer, um, with a little wire handle. And I've seen them a few of them on eBay, um. But it's I just it's nice just to feel the different way. It's kind of nice. It feels kind of good in the hand actually. Surprisingly. But I picked that up to go with the other hammers. You know, I can't walk past many little hammers. And this is a very unusual. It's got 45 degrees on that side. And then it's got 30 degree angle on this side. And it's it's a very nice, very nice piece of um, setting out equipment. Um, I just like the design. I just like the shape of it. It just caught my eye. So I thought I'm going to give that a home. And it feels really stout as well. And it's rounded over on this side and then sharp. So it's got a 45 anyway and it's got a 30 degree. And obviously it's got a 90 degree. So I thought that was a bit of fun. So I thought I'd give that a home, put that in the marking drawer. Right, so we'll move on to the second lot now and show you the final lot before you make your guess. All right, thanks for watching. Right guys, so this is the last of the tool haul. So once you've seen this, make your guesses in the, in the description below. So basically, um, we've got this um, larger, and this is, is a pretty large one. So have a look how big it is. I mean, the blade itself is probably um, 11 inch, and then the actual void is probably 15 inch. So it's a pretty big old uh, draw knife, this one, um, which is the usual side. It's had a chunk out of this handle here, but this one's not in too bad. Obviously, it's pulled back and took a gap, been banging against as it's been pulling back, it's been banging against something, a table or something. Um, and he's got another gouge out here. So I wonder what the guy's knuckles look like on his left hand. <laughs> but it's a nice old draw knife. Um, I do have a big marples one. And then I have a little marples one. But, you know, it's a nice draw knife. So I thought I'd give it a home. Um, and, uh, the, you know, you can always make new handles for it if you wanted to. But, yeah, I thought I'd give that a home. We've got this mallet. And this is a beauty. This is so heavy, you wouldn't believe it. So I think this is uh, lignum vitae, um, but I might be mistaken. Um, but it's a heavy old, heavy old mallet, and I like mallets. I just do some. I just like them. I just like the feel of them. And this is a nice one. You can choke up on it, and you can you can give it a bit more of a whack. Great for beating the wife. Ideal. Doesn't leave marks. Very smooth edge. It's a beauty. So. I really like that. Nice piece of wood. Nice uh, nice uh, mallet, that. So I was happy with that. Um, and then we got this one, which looks to be like maple. This is also a heavy mallet. So I think it's got like an oak handle. And I reckon that's a uh, maple uh, head on it. Not too sure, though, but it's a beauty nonetheless. So two lovely mallets there. And then the star of the show. And I didn't realise when I saw these. I thought, mm, the, the paper looks really cheap. But they're actually handmade saws um made in the obviously and the linking sharp honestly any more than that and i'll cut myself um they are et roberts and lee um this is a 580 made in dorchester england high grade i don't know i don't know blah de blah it's got the uh it's got nice mark they're still making these today and they're still selling these today and obviously this is more like a dovetail saw and I got two of those, and these are rather nice. Nice little brass one. Another nice little, this one's even got, oh, that's sharp, that. That is really sharp. So another a fine little saw. Nice handle on it, beautifully made. And it's nice to see things are still being made in the UK, which is always a treat. And it's got a lovely bit of brass on the top of it. So we've got two sort of finer woodworking saws. Um, a couple of quite cool mallets, to be honest. And then this rather large, but still rather nice draw knife. If I had to guess my favourite of those lot, um, oh, it's going to be a tricky one. I probably, surprisingly, I know it's probably not the most valuable, but I think I'd probably go for this. This little wooden mallet. I just like it for some reason. I don't know why, but I just do. So, yeah, that's super cool. Um, so, out of this lot, it'd have to be one of these saws. Um, I just think they're beauties. I mean, the cardboard sheath could be improved, but the actual feel of them, pretty nice. 
and the um, the blade feels to be very stout indeed obviously this is sharpenable it looks to be reasonably it looks to be really well set and you can see how even it is I don't you probably can't see with the video really well set so yep lovely lot um, thanks to my mate again Anthony for letting me have a look round um, and giving me a great prize as always but we look after each other um, super happy um, so I'll put it in the description so there's two videos this one's getting on a bit so I'll cut it in the head uh, two videos put in your item what you think's the best the coolest item out of this video and what do you think the combined price of the two videos are good luck with your guesses all right thanks bye